Hello people, this is Olivander and I'm recording this because uh, I want to know if there is people out there who is doing the English teaching course and I'm beginning to do it this year I passed the admission test and I'm trying to to study hard because I know that this is going to be a really difficult year uh, where I study we are taught uh, British English and it's not the English that we are used to because um, here in Argentina we are we have a very uh, we have a great exposure to the American English it is not that we talk or we do anything in American English but we usually watch movies uh, or we watch series like you know Lost or 24 or things like that that are really famous uh, series from Fox and Warner Channel, Friends or, or The Nanny, things like that and we usually watch them subtitle so it is not that we are practicing the language but we hear them speaking and we usually get to know some words like I don't know, chance, dance and in British English they are pronounced differently chance, dance, things like that that um, really don't help when you have to study a language that is not your own, that has a different uh, intonation, a different pitch, a different rhythm um, the British English I think is um, a language that requires an effort when you are speaking it for example uh, Spanish and the Spanish that we speak in Argentina is very relaxed and very even uh, we don't stress words too much in a sentence usually all the words have the same stress or if we stress a sentence we stress every word so it's very difficult but it's very different from uh, the British English uh, language and well I wanted to know if you are doing the English teaching course what you think about it is it uh, a good quality of English, that one that you are studying uh, in your country is it, uh, do you find it difficult or you think it is easy um, yeah. does it happen to you, like here, that we don't have a lot of, tha of sounds that uh, British people use we don't have sounds like the G like the G in change or we don't have that z sound at the end of verbs like I don't know knows, she knows um, I know that they usually don't say it so stressed but here we usually do it to, to, to I mean they stress it so uh, unnaturally because they want us to hear it um, well, if you have any comments, any advice, any, I don't know, whatever you want to say or if you want to make your own video and you can leave the link for me to watch it, free, feel free. And well, thanks for now. This is, all, this is the first recording that I made, but uh, if I uh, think that it is worth doing more, I will do them. Goodbye.